The last real trees died millions of years ago. But when I say this, most would think me insane. We've all seen towering trees, 60, 70 feet tall. But what if I told you those are nothing like the trees that once ruled the earth? What if the trees of the ancient world stretched miles into the sky? The Devil's Tower, a formation considered by many to be a volcanic extrusion, is in fact a striking resemblance to the stump of an ancient tree. A tree so large, its remnants could stretch into the heavens. Mainstream science tells us the tower is the result of volcanic activity, magma intruding into sedimentary rock. But does this really make sense when we examine the structure closely? Look at these formations. Are they the result of volcanic explosions? Or could they be the petrified remains of something far older? Millions of years ago, Earth's atmosphere was rich in oxygen, creating an environment that allowed plants and animals, including the dinosaurs, to grow to massive proportions. The evidence? Petrified forests found on every continent of trees that once reached unimaginable heights. But what about the trees themselves? These petrified tree stumps aren't just fossils. They are the remains of something far more extraordinary. When we examine the cellular structure of trees, we see that their cells are arranged in a hexagonal shape, a pattern that serves to strengthen the structure and allow for vertical growth. Now, look at these hexagonal formations found in places like Devil's Tower. Could they be the remains of the central core of an ancient tree, preserved by the minerals that once seeped through the earth? When we calculate the size of these ancient trees, the numbers are staggering. Take Devil's Tower as an example. Its diameter is approximately 300 meters. Using the correlation between tree diameter and height, we estimate that it could have stood at nearly four miles tall. That's over 20 times the height of today's tallest trees. Ancient scriptures and mythologies speak of enormous trees that connected worlds, nourished life, and span the heavens. In Norse mythology, the Yggdrasil tree stood at the center of existence. Even in the oldest roots of languages, like those found in Slavic traditions, we find a connection to these giants. So, what could have caused these trees to disappear? Cataclysmic events volcanic eruptions, floods, and massive storms could have destroyed these giant trees, leaving only their petrified stumps behind. But not every tree was completely covered in ash. Some parts of these towering trees were buried faster than others, allowing for the process of petrification to occur. But even if these trees once existed, they were likely cut down, just as the giants of the 19th and 20th centuries were. Logging expeditions wiped out vast forests, giant trees that were once part of the landscape of North America, Europe, and beyond. Today, some of the largest remaining trees are kept secret, hidden from the public eye, preserved in places like the mummified forest discovered in Hungary, a forest frozen in time. Could it be possible that the ancient trees of Earth were once giants, their stumps scattered across the planet? The evidence is compelling, but there is no certainty. Thank you for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-expanding content.